Oh, this is awkward as fuck. Uh, I'm smiling because it's kind of awkward as fuck, and I know I'm going to hate this fucking video. Like, I already fucking hate it, but I know I got to do it. I basically just got back from work, and, uh, you know, the opportunity came, and it's legit man work. So that's why I'm dressed as I am, such. I got my hair back, in the, you know, because, like, you can't go to do business and have my hair in ponytails because it's like oh there's a huge red flag and really like any kind of employer or person you can get a job from you know like there could be protections and there's like lawsuits from different minority groups that are oh you know like so and so discriminate against me and they get millions of dollars it's so fucked because and then they take the money they go straight to their head and they go all like oh, i have to get on that tangent i've got Paper. I haven't even seen Waterworld. Like, that's where it's so I could like reference it first. But like he's like, Piper, smell it. But you know this is like a hundred and it's two five, so hundred and ten. I would have got more, but uh, I'm working with the landlord and I owe him a fuck ton of money for for rent. But he's not hassling about it, hassling me about it. He's he gave me a fucking really good pay for today. You know. Uh. Probably I'm doing this, so why am I doing this video? Why, I, even why do I bring up the money? I, I, I have very, very low rent here, like, and I could be making bank, like, I could be making big ass bank, but it's not worth it to me. Like, I'd rather go and be homeless. I'd rather go days of being hungry. I'd rather it's, make make those sort of sacrifices. To not have to wear this shit, like, to be able to express myself, like, how I want to, like, this is, this is, this is a double life, and how this would go, like, for when I would do this, and I did have, I did have money and whatnot, unfortunately, I had bad people in my life that sabotaged me, but I let them, I let them sabotage me, because I'm still very pushed by my emotions, and people, and the people were able to manipulate that. You know, wasted my money trying to actually just chase after a guy, really. Um, so, anyways, how my day would go is for that period, say the summer, say I worked the whole summer, and I you know, I'd get up at like seven, seven thirty, you know, uh, be on the road by eight o'clock, get picked up by eight o'clock. And come home like around between four or five or six, you know, around that time. Sometimes you come home a little early, sometimes come home a little late. But I'm like dirty as fuck. So I gotta like shower. And I gotta get all the grease and stuff off me. So it's like an extra long shower. And by the time I eat and whatnot, and I change and I do my hair and my makeup, which doesn't take long at all. But I gotta shave and keep up. Like I, I tweeze these hairs up here. So it takes the longest time just tweezing these fucking hairs. Like, I don't have, like, this complicated beauty routine of, like, oh, it's an effeminate male, and he can't fight or anything because he's too busy, like, worrying about his nails. Like, I, I, I wear gloves, right? Let's see, I got my gloves here. Like, I wear gloves to cover that shit up because, like, it's going to be a distraction at work and what. And the fact that I can realize, like, I could see, like, okay, this is going to be a distraction. I'm going to make this sacrifice. I can do it for the short term. Today was my first day. I just got back, so I figured it would be a good time to fucking do a video on it. Uh, to how like how I feel about this shit and how it affects you know affects trans people in general because there's really isn't a lot of trans mental health that's that's positive out there. It's it's either oh affirm 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 affirm, which is just inflating your fucking head full of like stupid ideas because like like. Everything in life, there's no fucking utopia. Like, everything requires some sort of sacrifice, so... I gotta get my shit out. I don't have, like, I haven't had any money for my meds. Uh, like, been eating fucking peanut butter, peanut butter and shit. You know, like... I've been making those sacrifices, but I hit a wall. And I need to get my shit out this house, but I need more... Need more, like, bug out stuff, like tarps and containers and to totes and whatnot. So I was just, I had to, like, okay, I, I hit a wall, I got as much of my stuff out, called landlord up, like, he's also helped me out with work, and I'm like, hey, 
you know, I need some work. And he said he today he's like, hey, I'll work you every day, you know. But he understands that I've got my he don't he don't quite understand my issues, but I don't also don't burden him with them, you know. Like I'm not I'm not trying to bring the mood down. But if I work for like all summer, like I did, right? So yeah. So I, I say I get, get eaten, or I don't get, say I eat and I get all done up, or whatever, which is like not really all done up. It's fucking eight o'clock, seven o'clock at night, and I gotta be, you know, I gotta go to bed like around eleven if I'm gonna. So like I've got like three hours, right, to be who I am, and then I get to sleep for eight hours, like like ooh, I get to like be myself while I'm asleep. Like, not conscience, right? And then I wake up the next day and do it all over again and over again. And it starts building up. And it gets to a point where it's like, holy shit, this double life. Like, this alternate person that's that's not allowed to express themselves is the majority of my life. My conscious waking hours. And it fucking, like, I get to the point where, like, I was getting to the point, like, this last winter, like... I was doing it because I had to, and it's a guy job, so, you know, it's like the guys, and it's like the real high masculine energy, which I can handle, but then it gets pushed on, you know, it's like, oh, hey, why aren't you joking around with the guys and whatnot, it's because, like, it's not that I don't like working, like, I like physical work and shit, it's just that, I'm, it's like, imagine, okay, you guys show up, I show up to work like this today, well, you show up to work in a dress, and you have to act like a girl all day, you have to act that feminine all day, it's, it would it would tear at some like okay maybe it's a joke or whatever they do it for the first day ha ha now now do that every day for you know like five or six days a week and so basically the only time you're allowed to be a man and whatnot and act like a man is for a few hours and then while you sleep like I that would you know so I get to the point where I'm just like fucking like I, like literally I can channel that like the the, the emotions I was just clawing I claw at myself right because I'm in the back seat or whatever I'm not talking to anybody. I remember winter time. I had uh, it was when the mask thing was. It was the mask thing wasn't around so much, but but I remember I liked it because I could hide my face. I was like, no, no one fucking deserves to see my face. Like, like if I ain't being who I am, like I would just like I'd sit in the back and the people make my oh, there's a mask, you know. But I wasn't wearing a mask because I was like, oh, the COVID or not. I was wearing a mask because like I don't want anybody to see my fucking face. And it's like, if I'm going to be forced to put like this, then, 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 then no one deserves it. Like, I was getting fucking, like, I get, like, I can get damn, like, fucking homicidal if I'm stuck like this. Like, I will, like, like, I got to take a shit. Like, I got in, and I, and I composed my thoughts. I wrote a little bit, like, journaled a little bit. It's kind of, that's why I'm able to sort of build this shit out, but... Not this shit, like the shit in my head. I did help clear my clear my head a little bit getting out because we're driving around. We drive to all sorts of different cities and stuff, and not the open road kind of helps clear my thoughts. And physical, you know, like the hard physical labor, like that's, you know, it's kind of all right. It is good for mental health. It can be good for mental health. But I'm also like emotionally charged about it. Like, I, like, I don't even want to take a shit until I got this off. I, like, I need to fucking, like, boom, like, do this. And fucking, like, 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 I, you know, before I take a shit, I got to brush my hair. If I had to shit, like, I was about to shit myself, I'd go take a shit. Like, don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't feel right. It would feel like a stressful shit. Like, you don't want to have a stressful shit. You want to have, like, a, a good shit. As least as good as it can get. I mean, it's like fucking burning as it's coming out. Well, you still want to be like sitting on a toilet and just like fucking like ah, oh. like you don't want to be like having to like shit in the fucking on on the side of the railroad tracks like a TMI, but but you get the idea. Like like you fuck. So I went on too long about that. I'm still getting like the blockages and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, so this is a gender dysphoria, and the gender dysphoria largely goes away, at least from the interpersonal perspective, it goes away when I'm just allowed to like wear my makeup and stuff, which 
guys, you know, they feel really, you know, they, they want to pump their muscles up and they feel good about themselves that way. Well, from the feminine perspective, it's done differently. It's, it's not done like through the physical body. It's done more artistically. And yeah, the physical body is a part of it, but like the makeup and stuff like that, it's, it's a beauty enhancement, but it's also a sign of expression. Like it's not just to impress guys or something like that. Like there is an internal quality to it. Just like like there's a plenty of guys out there that pump iron and whatnot to make their bodies you know like look good but they're not doing it just to get attention for women they're just they're doing it because it's it's natural to them so i'm kind of caught in between and so this yeah so that's where the internal gender dysphoria would come from is when i'm like when i'm forced to be like this like day in and day out and I'm just gonna get as I'm just gonna get the money that I need to move on to the next stage of my life. But this isn't something that this isn't either way I gotta make a fucking sacrifice. Now I can make bank and have a house. Like I got this house to my fucking self now. Like this would be the fucking perfect time. This would be the almost awesome time to just be like, oh hey, you know, I'm just gonna be a dude. But that's not the route I'm taking. That's not my path. That would be a betrayal of myself. I'm willing to make the sacrifice of being homeless, of of being broke for long periods of time, of, of going without the shit I need. If I get to it is, if I'm getting to stay like to my true to my expression. Now there is like external, even if I'm dressed up, or whatever. Like, and women will compare themselves to other women a lot. So there's that. Not that I am a woman, but I'm going to compare myself to other people that are feminine. It's not a good thing to do, you know, to compare yourself. That's how a lot of trans folk get caught in this brainwashing. It's like, they want to be women so bad, they want to compare themselves. There's this idea that's pushed that you can, like, magically wake up. Go to sleep, wake, wake up one day as a woman. And it's repeated so much that eventually you start believing it. And, you know, like... Like, if I was doing, say, the street walking, it's happened, like, lots of times where someone finds... A dude finds me attractive, but he pulls up, he sees I'm a dude, and he pull away. Like, that shit hurts, like... It creates a little bit of dysphoria there. But through time, it's manageable. And, I mean, I've been looking up a lot of men's mental health shit lately because there's just a lot of it out there, which is, like, fucking great. Like, it's a really, like, men need that. And it is, it is like, men's mental health month. Like, fuck pride month. Uh, there isn't, like I said, for trans folk, it's... It's just on the extremes. Either you're the demon abomination that's just destroying all society and you should be genocided. Or it's everything you think is true and wonderful. And, and there's like anyone who criticizes you is a bigot. And just believe all this bullshit. Well, so I don't know. Like I did the video. I can go do what I got to do now. That, that's, my, that's my guy video. I'll do another video to replace this. But yeah, I'm done.